Guys, today is part three of making the Yorks Brav bump up slingshot crossbow. Hopefully, this time I'm going to be able to get it up to the stage where I can put some bands on it, and that will be really good. So I've got the designs for the stirrup and the top bit cut out, and all I've got to do is cut them out of plywood and file them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill the holes for the pivots to be on the trig mechanism. So for the pivot, I'm going to be using this nail, which is four millimeters thick. So I'm going to be drilling onto a scrap piece of wood to stop it from splintering on the back. Alright, so this is with the first nail through and it pivots really, really nicely. Right, so now I've got both nails in place and they both pivot really, really well. Also, as you can see, I've put in a little nail here to stop the um, trigger from going too far back. Right, okay, so now I've added the string, the paracord, to connect both the trigger mechanism bits together. So it works like that. And I've also drilled holes in these plate bits so that they can go over the front like that. Now I've just got to screw them in. Right, okay, so now I've screwed in the um, screws for the plates that cover up the trigger mechanism. And I thought I'd videoed me doing it, but the camera ran out of memory, which sucks. And I've also super glued these nails in on this side. So now they won't come out. Now I'm just going to cut these nails off here. Right, so I've cut off the nails and this is how the trigger mechanism looks now. So when you pull the trigger like that, um, it pushes that up, so like that. And I haven't attached any rubber inside to pull it back down just because I couldn't find any elastic bands and I couldn't find anywhere to attach it on the inside. So the next step is going to be attaching this small but mighty magnet which can easily hold a 15 millimeter steel ball um, and it's pretty strong so what I'm gonna do is um, in this bit here I'm gonna drill a hole and then put the magnet in here and it'll hold the ball in place while I'm reloading Right, okay, so the glue has dried on the magnet and it's just in there and the ball goes in it fine and even if you shake it, it doesn't come out and then when you pull the trigger, it pushes the ball off fine. So now I'm going to cut out this top bit and the stirrup. So this is the stirrup and the top piece cut out, now I'm going to file them. Right, so I've just finished filing the stirrup, now I'm going to move on to the top bit.
Okay, so I've finished filing the stirrup on the top piece and I've used epoxy resin to glue them onto the wood. Now I'm going to put bolts through them. Right, so now I've finished putting all of the bolts on and I've got the bolts going through here and I've also put on the rollers which move freely and that's really good. Now I need to attach these bits for where the bands attach for going around the rollers. Right, so I've attached the bits for where the bands attached with a really, really long screw that goes all the way through to the top and then I grinded the top off and a thinner screw that goes there and a lot of epoxy resin and now the weapon's finished. Obviously later on I'm gonna like paint it and then add something to stop the bands from falling off every shot, but it's ready to shoot for now, so I'm gonna put some Theraband gold on it now. So I've banded it up with two layers of Theraband gold each side, and these are really tapered bands as well, so it'll shoot really, really fast. These bands are also pre-tense, so they're already under pressure, so then pulling it back to all of here, you get a lot of force. I've had to wrap a bit of duct tape around the bit where the bands attach because it was firing so fast that the bands kept ripping here. I'm going to be firing 15mm steel ball at the Orangina can over there. Right, so this is how you load the slingshot. You put the ball in there, then you put your foot on it there, and then you grab the pouch here, and then you pull it up and over the ball. It's, it's pretty cold out here, so the bands aren't um, doing their best, but even then, this slingshot crossbow has 50 pounds of draw weight. I put a lot of effort into this video, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, thanks to Yogg Sprav for designing this weapon and showing us how to make it. Also, if you have any recommendations for a future project that you'd like me to make, just post a comment below or send me a message and I'll probably do it.